Hi and welcome to the Team Tiny Summer Hope Ram sharing a one layer card. I'll be using this little stamp set and I have already stamped the image on Nina Solar White piece of cardstock and I used the Copic Safe Ink and also I created a mask for the image. I'm also taking another piece of masking tape and I'm just ripping it in half and I'll be creating a beach scene while I'm doing my ink blending which I won't be showing you fully but just as a placeholder so I can tell you more about Team Tiny and the prices we have. If you are not familiar with Team Tiny, we are a group of small content creators. We all are with less than 1000 subscribers which means that you can watch video after video without any ads. So we come together in a hop to support each other. We truly appreciate your likes, comments, shares and subscriptions and this month Kendra is generously offering two prizes to two lucky winners. To enter all you have to do is comment on each video and then complete the form which is in my description box down below and I will have more details there. In order to see all of the videos, all you have to do is just click on the hashtag Team Tiny Summer Hop, which is in my video title or in my description box, or you can just put it in the YouTube search bar and it will generate the full list. So once I'm done with the sand portion, I move on to the top part of the card which will be the sky and the sea. So just quickly add the tumbled glass distress ink all over. I will mask off the sky and now I will do the sea part and I went way too heavy handed than I wanted to. Once I'm done with the sea I mask it off and now I go back to the sky and I'm adding clouds using the white pigment ink. And I don't know why but it's barely seen. Also I'm adding some texture to the sea using the wave stencil and now it's time to remove the mask. I'll cover the image using Copic markers. For the mouse I'm going with the cool grays. First I'm adding the shadows then moving on to the mid-tone and blending all out with my lightest marker and I tried to do some kind of dabs and dots so that the mouse looks textured and furry. For the ice cream cone I'm using the E30 markers and I tried to extend this waffle pattern and just doing some simple coloring. And I will fast forward and here is the finished image. Now I will just add some texture to the sand using the same E30 markers. I didn't want to add more details just because this is such a small image and I wanted it to be the focal point of the whole card. I will use a stitched rectangle die and I also stamped the sentiment and I also added a little bit of pink clouds just for something extra. And now I'm using a snow marker 
and I take some out on a scrap piece of paper and took a little bit on my finger and just dabbing it all around to get this imperfect foam like look and here I will fast heat it up until it's all puffed I will add a little bit more and repeat the process and Lastly, I added a little bit of clear wink of Stella on the ice cream part and now with the new Vogue glitter drops I'm adding a little bit more details uh, once everything is dry I will adhere this panel onto my card base I should have done it before adding anything but anyways thank you so much for stopping by I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you hop along bye